I'm Dave Kaiser from CCX Media. On behalf of CCX Media, we bring you a special update from the city of Maple Grove. As you see, the fire chief is with us, Tim Bush. Good afternoon, Tim. How are you today? Good afternoon, Dave. I'm doing really well. Thank you. Tim is at the home office there where he's running a lot of operations, as we will tell you in the next few minutes. But Tim, we want to spend a quick couple minutes to talk about some of the things residents might be able to help with and need to know. First, parks. Let's talk a little bit about the community parks. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? How can you help residents better utilize the parks at this time? Well, I know that the, there's been a lot of calls, a lot of concern about seeing kids and people on the playgrounds and the play courts. Um, Maple Grove hasn't closed our parks as yet, but one of the things we want to do is we put out guidelines. And when you go to use the, the park, maintain that social distancing. We tell, tell the kids and the adults, stay off the equipment, uh, but, but feel free to bring your own, own sports equipment out there. Uh, that, that's a good time to get out, get some fresh air, get a little bit of exercise, especially with the kids trying to do this distance learning from home, getting to the parks is, is really important. And, and above all, when you get done, take your equipment, go home and wash your hands. And I would guess as well, the fantastic trails in the city of Maple Grove are a great opportunity to get out and just walk or ride those bikes. That would be something that I think people would have the correct social distancing. Is that right? We, we want to see people using the, the, the trails, um, getting out there and, and, and exercising, but again, keeping that social distancing. So it's so easy to get clustered up and not even really realize how close you are. Very, very true. Let's talk a little bit about the need for blood. Uh, you have been in contact with some people and found out there's a great need and that many of the blood drives that are planned or have been planned have been canceled. So how can people still help out? This is a great need and a great way for people to step forward. Well, the, the Maple Grove Community Center is actually sponsoring several blood drives in the month of April. Right. Uh, you can go online to the, the redcross.org uh, as well as Memorial Blood Bank have uh, the ability to go online and schedule an appointment to have to donate blood. Uh, just because everybody's staying home doesn't mean the need goes away. Sure. And, and for some individuals, especially some cancer patients, they, they need the red blood cells and the platelets. It truly is a matter of life and death. And, and what better way to contribute to the effort? You know, we, we recognize that the, the doctors, the nurses, the emergency responders are on the front line. And, and there are a lot of people that are looking for a way to, to get involved and be, be helpful. American Red Cross says, be a hero, donate blood. Let's talk a little bit about your operations now. So obviously, as we told people at the beginning, you are at home. Tell us how your operation system is set up and what emergency management in Maple Grove looks like here at this time. Well, Maple Grove is one of 14 cities that work together to create a regional plan for, for emergencies. And it's for everything from tornadoes, uh, big snowstorms, to health, health issues like uh, pandemics. So with that plan, it, it, the 14 cities have this common plan that we work with, uh, and then individually we can we can hone it down to the nuances for each community. Uh, within Hennepin County, there's four of these regional planning groups. There's the city of Minneapolis, there's a north group, a south group, and, and a lakes group. Uh, what that does is it lets us work together in a common cause, that way we don't duplicate efforts. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with the regional groups to kind of triage, sort through things before we make requests to Hennepin County itself. Um, Hennepin County has their emergency operations center and is up and operating to, to help track and manage some of, some of the, the logistics of this. Uh, but COVID-19 has created a very unique situation for us. Instead of being a brick and mortar operation, we're doing it virtually. You know, I'm, I'm in my home office here today, and yet I can still have a meeting with other department directors within the city to take care of our day-to-day -day business. Uh, there's several web applications that we can use, just like I'm doing with this interview. Let's talk a little bit about the meetings you have during the day. So what are some of the other departments and agencies you're talking with on a day-to-day -day basis to get fresh information for yourself and be able to pass that along to the city staff? We have regular conference calls with the North Ambulance every morning. 
Uh, the Minnesota Department of Public Safety conducts a meeting on, on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, Hennepin Emergency Management does an update meeting every day at 430. And then there's a whole host of meetings throughout the day. Uh, different different departments within the city are meeting with their, their counterparts from other cities. And again, we can do so much electronically that we never could do in the past. You know, I'm a baby boomer. And for me, I always wondered who could need more than one computer model monitor, you know, and, and here today I'm, I've got three and I could probably use a fourth because there's so much uh, information available right at, at your fingertips. But it's so much information that it takes a lot of time to sort through. Final question, just to ask and reiterate, and you mentioned it earlier about the blood drives, that that's certainly something that you do not need to stay at home if you want to come out and that way and be essential to help with the blood drive you can. Other questions or points or fine facts you have related to the stay at home order, exactly what that means for residents? Well, for us, we, we want you to, to be safe at home. We don't want you to hesitate to call if you have an emergency, but many times there's things that you can call, the city offices are still open, fire department's main number is still open. Uh, a lot of times we can answer questions right over the te telephone or through email without having to send somebody out in person. And, and that really helps with the, the distancing effort. Very good. Well, we appreciate your time today. Any other final words for residents that they need to know from the, the fire chief at this point? Well, our fire department in Maple Grove, we're continuing to respond to calls. They're available when you call 911. We're, we're going to be responding and, and we're going to continue to respond. So we keep telling everybody we're in this together and, and we'll continue providing that service to the best of our ability. Wonderful. Well, thank you and thank you to your staff for all that they're doing. I know they're going above and beyond the call of duty at this point to make sure things are safe in the city. So thank you for your time. And as Chief Bush mentioned, Maple Grove's website, maplegrovemn.gov, a great place to find out information, get connected to some of that information about the parks, blood drives, or other things that might be going on in the community. Chief, thanks again for your time. Stay safe. Thank you.